Hi, welcome back to Doug's Basement Workshop. Today we're putting condiments on a saw blade. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not kidding. I actually did this. Uh, we have mustard, honey mustard, ketchup, and mayo, Merrick Whip. Why? Because Facebook told me to do this. So on Facebook, they said that if you put French's yellow mustard on a saw blade, that you could, or on metal, you could engrave on metal. And because I'm skeptical of everything I see online, I put it on an old saw blade and we're gonna to try to etch the metal. And I thought, well, I'm gonna, this makes a huge mess in my laser. I wanna make one mess one time that I have to clean. So I put a whole bunch of stuff on there. Um, I don't know what in mustard would make it etch metal, but uh, we're going to try a couple different things and see if other condiments, or if maybe the laser just likes having hot dog condiments on stuff. So let's give this a try, see what comes out. Okay, so the laser is currently loading up, and we are going to make our test. So we have test one. And we're just going to use the Glowforge's own software to do this. And we'll just make the number one. And I have already created the settings that were recommended in the users group on Facebook to do this, which is a speed of 200, full power, two passes, and 340 lines per inch. And we're gonna leave it on the auto focus. And we'll just drop the number one. Okay, that was bad. On each of these condiments, and we'll see how it does. Um. And I'm wondering if it really takes two passes. So I'm going to make a second test and do it in one pass and see how it comes out. Now, if you've never created your own settings, let's run through this really quick. So I'm going to do a file save as and I'll make this two mustard. I know I spelled that wrong. It's okay. And we're going to do this in one pass. We'll leave everything else the same. 340 lines per or millimeters. 340 lines per inch. We'll leave it at full power and a speed of 200 like they suggested on Facebook. And we're going to run this and see how it comes out. So supposedly the mustard is going to do what I want it to. I'm just curious if the honey mustard will still do it. The ketchup and the mayo... I'm wondering if the acidity in the ketchup will do anything. And mayo is just because I had condiments in the fridge to pull out and look at. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This yellow, if you haven't seen this pop up on you before, says that there's danger to the material when you run your laser. So we're going to say continue because I already know I'm doing dumb sketchy stuff. And we're just going to go with it and see what we get. All right, 13.9, 13 minutes, 9 seconds. Not surprising. I'm going to go set up the camera, and we're going to see how this works. And see what we get for fl burning flame, all that kind of fun stuff at the same time. If we do get fire, I'm probably going to shut the laser down and just assess from there. So, I don't know how much of it came through on camera, but the mustard over here, the yellow mustard, definitely looked very different as it was engraving compared to the other ones. It had a much brighter flash as the beam was going across it. And I think my ketchup was a little too thick because it looks like it actually cut a slice into the ketchup. I don't know if that's really going to show on camera. Let's 
see if we can't get a good picture of that on the camera. It looks like it actually cut into the ketchup. So they all look like they took a good engraving. It doesn't look like any of it was overly thick except for the ketchup on the number one where it really does look like it cut and sliced through the ketchup. All right, let's go wash it off and see what we get. I'm just going to use some uh, soap and dish soap and water. Nothing special. I tried doing the saw blade like we talked about and it was so yucked up from being a saw blade that I really couldn't tell. And it looked like it etched on all of the surfaces. So I thought that can't be right because I did this being a smart aleck putting all these different condiments on and there's no way that everything worked. So I went out to the barn and got another saw blade and it's 10 degrees outside today and tools weren't my friend and it's kind of hard to work in those temperatures. So I found two knives out there and this one is a steel blade and I believe this is stainless steel because it's only tarnished where the two blades were touching. And the all steel blade actually didn't do too badly. The yellow mustard did pretty much nothing. The honey mustard did okay. And I'll take some pictures and put them up here in the corners for you guys. The ketchup did almost nothing. The mayo did almost nothing. Or America Whip. Yeah, America Whip. No, we have mayonnaise in my house. So, that's what this one did. Stainless steel blade. I gotta tell you, honestly, the ketchup down here, the third one over was ketchup. The one next to the tarnished spot. And I'm not sure if the image will be reversed when I put it up here. But the third one over is the where the ketchup was. And that did the best. And it actually came out darker than the other ones. The mustard, the honey mustard, the ketchup, and the... Miracle Whip in our house. Yeah, I don't know. It's the white stuff in the jar. You put on a sandwich. That's, they all worked. I, I don't understand. But I have two questions about this whole process. One, who was the first person who did this on Facebook? Were you eating a hot dog, something dropped on a piece of metal, you put it in the laser and you did it? Or please tell me this was a scientist or someone with some sort of scientific background who thought, hey, there's a scientific reason I'm putting mustard on metal and lasering it. Because I've been dying to know why the first person put mustard on metal in the laser. So being a smart aleck, I, I did this and they all work on stainless steel. And I don't. I don't understand at all. I, I have zero understanding. You can look at the time lapse of me doing this. You know what the settings were. And honestly, the settings, I don't see any significant differences in, in, the, in the engraving on the metal. Um, the ones came out a little bit better. And I think the ones were two passes. Um, you have to look back at the at the um, computer section to see what it was or down below in the, in the description, I'll have all my settings put in there. I, I don't get it. It works. Now I've got to come up with a really cool project to actually use this in a practical way. And I've got to go break it to somebody that I etched 12s on two of our knives. Luckily they're barn knives and most likely someone in a year or two and they pick up these knives again is going to be wondering why in the world there are four 12s etched on two knives out there. And I probably will have forgotten and we'll all be wondering what idiot etched a bunch of 12s on a knife and it'll be me. So lesson learned, you can use any condiment out of the fridge, ketchup, mustard, honey mustard, or, uh, the, the white stuff in the jar. 
Yeah, Merrick Whip. Merrick Whip. Um, if you want me to try something else, I, let me know in the comment section. I got another side of a knife here to try it on. You know, if you have some other condiments you want me to run through the laser. It didn't make a mess in my laser. I didn't see any issues with gunking and gooing up like we do with MDF or cutting leather. I, I looked at my lens. It wasn't bad or gunked up. So, you know, if there's something else you want me to try on the back side of this blade, leave in the comment section. I, I may do it just to, to have fun. Um, I'm guessing barbecue sauce will work about the same as the ketchup, but I haven't tried it yet. Um, so if there's some condiments you want me to run through, let me know. All right, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. And don't play with sharp objects. I need more adult supervision in my life because apparently I shouldn't be allowed to play with... Uh, Knives, saw blades, or condiments now. All right, see you guys in the next video.